Numbers are a critical part of the way we understand our world. They can even change how we see everyday experiences. In this video series, I would like to explore numbers, not just any ordinary numbers. We are going to explore big numbers. Last time, we talked about the fast-growing hierarchy and how to use this to build fast-growing functions. This allowed us to reach the massively large grams number, a value that is far beyond our comprehension, requiring many recursive processes, even at the level of these extraordinarily rapid growth functions. However, even this extreme number can be surpassed by the sequence we will discuss today. In 1944, the mathematician Reuben Goodstein proved a curious theorem involving a number sequence he had developed called the Goodstein sequence. Let's begin with a number, say 2. The first step in the Goodstein sequence is to represent the value using only numbers up through 2. For the next step, we take the value from the first step and represent it using only 1s and 2s and then increase all the 2s to 3s, and then subtract 1. Next, we take the value from this second step and represent it using only numbers up through 3. And then, we increase all the 3s to 4s and subtract 1. Finally, we take the value from the third step, increase all the 4s to 5s, and subtract 1. Let's do this process again, with 3 this time. We can first represent this using numbers through 2. Then, in step 2, we change all the 2s to 3s and subtract 1. We can repeat this, increasing the number and subtracting 1, until we reach a point where we simply whittle the number down to 0. Let's do all this one more time, starting with 4. First, use only numbers through 2 then change 2s to 3s and subtract 1. Suddenly, the number jumps up in size, due to this exponential structure we started with. Now, if we continue this pattern, represent with numbers up through 3, change 3s to 4s, and subtract 1, etc., we can see that this process is resulting in a growing number sequence. Not growing very quickly, mind you, but still getting larger. Interestingly enough, even this sequence will reach the point where it will stop growing and then will start whittling down to zero. But how long will that take? Turns out, starting with 4, it would take around 6.7 times 10 to the 121 million steps before this sequence converges to zero. That's a huge jump. Incredibly, Goodstein proved that no matter what number you start with in this sequence, this sequence will always converge to zero, although this will take a very, very long time for most numbers. The length of steps it takes for a sequence to reach zero is called the Goodstein function, and it grows extraordinarily fast. So fast, in fact, Let's use Graham's number as a comparison. Graham's number, if you recall, takes 64 steps using the fastest recursive functions we have discussed thus far. Well, the Goodstein function blows past it in just 12 steps. That means the Goodstein function is much faster than the f omega plus 1 function from the fast-growing hierarchy. Exactly how much faster is it? Well, if we start with the f omega plus 1 function, we see that it just iterates over the previous function. Likewise, we can add another 1 to this omega to get a function that iterates over f omega plus 1. And we can continue going in this fashion, building faster and faster growth functions. What happens when we run out of numbers? Well, we can diagonalize 
across these sequences to rewrite the function in creating a new number sequence. This effectively adds an omega to this subscript. This is defined here and can be rewritten as f2 omega. Have we caught up to Goodstein yet? Not quite. But we can keep going. If we add one omega, we can add another, and another, and another. In fact, we add so many that we can define yet another level of speed by saying f omega times omega, or f omega squared. It turns out we can continue building exponents too, repeating this whole process until we get f omega raised to omega, a beast of a function. At small values, like 2, this function condenses down to the f omega plus 1 function, which approaches numbers like Moser's number at this level. But just moving to the next number, 3, results in an insanely fast-growing function. This function builds so quickly that surely we have reached Goodstein's function, right? Still no. It turns out, even this can grow beyond these exponential forms, continuing to diagonalize over and over again until we are actually building a power tower of omegas, describing an ever faster growing function. Eventually, we reach m number of omegas and we must, once again, diagonalize to create a new sequence of functions, equivalent to an omega number of omegas. This new sequence will require a new symbol, epsilon naught, or epsilon null. F epsilon null grows exceptionally fast, with each progressive number requiring the evaluation of power towers of omegas. This function explodes extraordinarily rapidly, with even the notation required to evaluate low values becoming unwieldy and abstract. But finally, we have a function that can surpass the Goodstein function. But we're not done with our journey yet. There's still more to come and even bigger numbers to discover. The world of big numbers goes as far as you are willing to go. So please join me for the next video where we explore big numbers.